Hello everybody, Lusty here. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. And today we're going to be checking out the PTB for the new Sadako Rising chapter. Personally, I'm not very familiar with the Ringu franchise, but what I do know is that there's a scary lady that comes out of a TV, and then there's a journalist who's trying to, you know, hold an investigation, but she kind of gets tormented by the spirit. That's at least what I gather from what I read. But um, yeah, let's just hop in and check out the new content. First of all, I want to check out the new survivor. And the new survivor is called Yoichi Asakawa. And it says that Yoichi is a brilliant marine biologist and psychic whose knowledge and abilities allow him to protect himself and assist others. His personal perks, parental guidance, empathic connection, and boon dark theory allow him to hide from killers, call out to injured survivors, and help others move faster. And this is what he looks like in the lobby. Apparently it wants to hold a VHS tape, and that probably has some lore significance that I'm not exactly aware of. Alright, so let's check out his perks. The first perk is called Parental Guidance. You have inherited the ability to hear the dead, and now the dead warn you of danger. After stunning the killer by any means, your scratch marks, pools of blood, and grunts of pain are hidden for 8 seconds. Okay, actually, let me make sure that I check this out in tier 3. Okay, so in tier 3, it's actually 10 seconds. And basically, whenever you get a pallet stun, you get the effects of Iron Will and Lucky Break combined for 10 seconds with no cooldown. So you can do this literally every pallet stun. I guess with Smash Hit, this could have some pretty good synergy. You could literally just disappear from sight. But there again, if you're not being chased, you're not really stalling the killer, which just kind of leads to which kind of just leads to them patrolling gens more or just chasing someone else then further preventing that person from doing a gen so i feel like it's kind of counterintuitive as to you know keeping pressure on the killer uh dbd is you know it's very important to be chased as a survivor and more so to be chased for as long as possible and this perk kind of you know does the exact opposite so i guess it's good for people who want to be stealthy because they don't trust in their own ability to be chased but that's all I could really rate this perk for. Um, empathic Connection. Your presence physically projects itself to those in danger. Whenever another survivor is injured, they can see your aura within a range of 96 meters. You also heal other survivors 10% faster. Ah, uh, this is really not that great of a perk. Um, if you really want... I mean, if you really want another survivor to be able to see you, I would just bring Aftercare at that point. Nah, I really don't read this perk at all. I feel like if you really want survivors to, you know, um, be, prote be protected by you or something, because that's kind of what this perk is catering towards, be, uh, given that it gives you a 10% healing increase, I feel like you might as well just run something like Empathy, or run something like Bond, and then you go out of your way to find that survivor, and then instead of having this 10% uh, healing speed increase, you would just bring something like Body Knowledge, or or something like Desperate Measures, maybe even a Medkit instead of a perk, you know, full stop. I feel like this perk is just a much. I feel like this perk is just a much worse version of a lot of different things you could bring as a survivor. So I definitely do not rate it. I think this is a really bad perk. This is a really unsubstantial perk in my opinion. Boon Dark Fury. Your obsessive study of the paranormal has given you unprecedented knowledge of other realms and planes of existence. Any survivors within the boot items range gain a 2% haste status effect. This effect lingers for four seconds after you leave the boon's totem range. You can bless only one totem at a time, and all equipped boon perks are active on that boon totem. Like, this is really bad. Within a 24 meter range? A 2% ace increase? I feel like ranged killers like, you know, Huntress, Deathslinger, Plague even, they're not gonna care about this boon at all. And, uh, you know, look at chainsaw killers, Bubba, Hillbilly, Blight, like... Literally, so many killers in the roster are not going to be affected by this perk. This is really for the 4.4 killers, like, um, I don't know, like Hag or something. Mm, yeah, probably a killer like Hag would really be um, noticing the effects of this perk and, you know, might actually get screwed over by it. But a Rage Killer or any regular M2 to get more speed killer, maybe, like, you know, Oni, let's not forget Oni. They're not going to care about this perk at all. Um, maybe on like an indoor map like the game, and then the, the boon totem is hidden in some weird random corner where you're never going to look for it. I mean, I guess, but uh, even then, it's only 2%. Like, you might as well, it doesn't even really synergize with perks like Hope or Blood Pack. Those perks are already good enough with their base values, and a 2% increase is not going to 
be substantial enough to warrant spending all that time booting the totem or re-blessing it when it when it gets snuffed. You might as well just be spending that time on gens. I feel like it's way more productive. I don't think that the time it would take to keep this perk up and running is more valuable than just the time you could be doing gens. So, no. This is another really bad perk in my opinion. I'm actually surprised that there is almost no real good survivor perk dispatch. Except for parental guidance, which also is not really good for, you know... Um, which also is not really a good survivor perk, but for those that are really scared of being chased, it's a nice pick. Alright, let's check out the new killer then. Okay, holy shit, she just comes crawling out of the well. <laughs> okay, I actually really like that. That's really fucking cool. Well, you can't say she doesn't look just like she does in the movie. Or, well, you know, the movies, I should say. Um, it definitely did a really good job on following the source material. The Omrio starts with her free personal perks. Scourge Hook, Floods of Rage. You form a psychic connection with the entity and alter the rules of the trial. At the start of the trial, up to four random hooks are changed into Scourge Hooks. You see their auras in white. When a survivor is unhooked from a Scourge Hook, all other survivors have their aura revealed for seven seconds. Not bad, not bad. It's kind of like a more complicated barbecue, and it lasts for a longer duration. So this is definitely going to be a good, um, good killer perk for killers of high mobility. So uh, take for example Billy, take Blight, Nurse, any real killer that has good map traversal. You're going to benefit from this perk a lot. This is a really good perk actually. Call of Brine. I really like the... Uh, icon for this perk. After damaging a generator, this perk becomes active for 60 seconds. The generator regresses at 200% of the normal regression speed and its aura is also revealed to you. Each time a survivor completes a good skill check on the generator affected by this perk, you receive a loud noise notification. Wow, okay. So there's no cooldown to it and whatever generator you decide to damage stays affected by this perk. So you could kick one gen and for the rest of the match, Whenever they get a good skill check on it, you will receive you will receive a notification for it. So this perk might actually be able to replace the rune on dying meta, because um, first of all, it's not an X perk, so it's a really good, it's a really strong regression perk, and it essentially allows you to combine ruin and pop at the same time. If you bring Call of Brine and Pop goes the Weasel, not only does the generator lose 25%, it also starts regressing at a 200% regression speed. And it also allows you to, you know, get information whether someone's doing that generator or not. So long as they're, of course, hitting good skill checks. I mean, if someone's hitting their greats, you're, that's not going to really help you. So I just realized it only, um, it only affects the generator for 60 seconds. So at least there's that. But 60 seconds is a lot of fucking time for a generator to be regressing at 200%. If nobody taps it, that is devastating. This is, yet again, another extremely good killer perk. Merciless Storm. Your horrible trauma is felt by everyone. When a generator reaches 90% progress, survivors working on the generator will be faced with continuous skill checks. If they miss or stop repairing, the generator is blocked for 20 seconds. Merciless Storm can only trigger once per generator per trial. Okay, that is more reasonable. That is way more reasonable. Jeez, that is just slow down upon slow down upon slow down. And then also... An aura reading perk. I think killers are gonna have a field day with the new fucking killer perks. I can literally just name like five insane builds that have so much synergy with these three new perks. It is insane. I think we're gonna be fixed. So I was gonna have a really hard time in the next patch. <laughs> Holy shit. Deluge of fear. Through the medium of a mysterious videotape, Sadako spreads her curse to unwitting viewers and causes their untimely deaths. Before manifesting, the Omrio gains the undetectable status effect and is invisible to survivors, but becomes intermittently visible when within 32 meters of them. Special Ability Manifestation The Omrio must physically manifest to attack survivors. Press and hold the power button to manifest into material form in your current position. For a brief duration after manifesting, the Omrio will continue to be intermittently visible to survivors when within 32 meters. Afterward, she will be fully visible within 32 meters for as long as she remains manifested. The Armrio can demanifest by pressing and holding the power button. Her special ability is projection. The Armrio can also take material form by projecting herself through a TV. 
press the ability button while looking at a power TV to project into it, shutting the TV off in the process. All survivors within a 60 meter range of the TV gain condemned progress. A fully condemned survivor is revealed by killer instincts and can be killed once downed. Holy shit, that is insane. Survivors can temporarily turn off TVs with the retrieve tape action. This adds condemned progress to that survivor. While holding a tape, the survivor can continue turning off other TVs, further gaining condemned for doing so. One specific TV will have its aura highlighted to the survivor. This TV allows the survivor to spread the Amria's message by inserting her tape. Doing so removes some condemned progress. Alright, so basically, um, she's a stealth killer. She can creep up on you. Um, she can teleport, just like Freddy can. Across the map, anyway. Um, also demo, I guess. So it's a hybrid between Freddy, demo, and then some of the stealth killers. And she also has some of the Kirks that Pyramid Head would have. So it's kind of a Pyramid Head, Freddy Demo, Stealth Killer hybrid. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I actually think the concept is pretty cool. I don't think it... And it does really tie into the actual source material, uh, you know, of the franchise. So I like how they handled the power. All right, well, since we checked out everything, I guess it's time to hop into a game and uh, face off against the Armria. Let's go. Right, so I guess this player brought an add-on where either I or all players immediately start spawn, immediately spawn in with a tape. So I think that, you know, since I do have one, I'll just be making my way over to the TV. See if I can insert it. There we go. And the TV's off. Okay, and the killer's already in the chase over here in the middle. I'm not sure if we should uh, take the chase or not. This, girl, this person might be fine. We have a really nasty setup here, actually. Let's see if that confuses her. She walks back. Yes, she does. Okay, nice. We're not in a chase, so we can just keep vaulting this. Very nice. She did not double back, so I get another free vault. And the longer she keeps continuing to do this, the more vaults I get. No, never mind. I triggered a chase by accident. Okay, she's then wanting thin air, so that's always good. And she's already given up on me. Which is pretty dumb, because it, I just triggered a chase, you know? Alright, she's teleported off somewhere else, I guess. Okay, okay. Alright, let's see. Alright, she probably does not know that it's me. I'm gonna see if I can take it for this person. I don't want him to go down. Kind of zone, whooping up news. Just keep running in a straight line. <laughs> She's shaking her head now. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it's a yes. This is happening. I am going to take that at it. Not sure why she's going over in that direction. Okay, we're fine. She de manifested, so she can't actually attack me now. She teleported inside. That was really good. You can't attack right now, can you? She can, she can. I see the red stain. Okay, that's unlucky. Pretend to go for the apple save. Very nice. She'll probably swing at me. Dead art? Oh, I could not get my dead art off in time. That was really greedy of me. I was trying to stall some time for the teammates so maybe uh, the others could try and heal them while I distracted the killer, but my dead art just did not work. Unlucky. It's fine. No, I'll just kill you right now. No, no worries, no worries. I'll kill you right now. <laughs> Well, I mean, I did call it, didn't I? Well, I don't have VT right now, so I can't exactly block the hook. She's swung at the dead art. Maybe someone else is here? Unlucky, unlucky. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna use our septic agent because I do not want to immediately be re down. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I brought that. Alright, I'm just gonna hold W into the middle map and uh, see if I can actually help this person on the gen and make myself useful. Surprise, motherfucker. She's right here for some reason. Uh, you have a flashlight. Could you please help me? Please, please. I'm begging. I don't think you'll get that. Oh, this is really bad. I'm going to be on second hook. I did not know she was going to come from that area. All right, thank you. I do have the size strike right now, and she probably is not keeping track of who's who. So if she downs me, I might be able to DS her pretty quickly. Just going to pretend to make a mistake. Very nice. And then I'll immediately get us over covering because I do have the S up. 
I have 30 seconds to either get myself up, be picked up by a teammate, or be picked up by her. So we're fine. Alright, no problem. There we go. Use the S. And, uh, well, that's a pretty cool stun animation, actually. I like it. She just grabs her head. Okay, um, him going down was not exactly ideal, but uh, we'll just have to deal with that later. Alright, he's already getting picked up. The pickup animation is really cool. I'm gonna see if I can go to that teammate and uh, get myself healed up. Hmm, hopefully the other teammate doesn't have the same idea and goes in this direction. I really don't want to be cut off again. Alright, hello teammate. Please treat my bleeding guts. Kinda curious to see what's in there, so I'm gonna take a peek. Ooh, uh, a brown toolbox. Well, I might be able to get a Sabble play going at some point, so who knows. Alright, that teammate went down, but this seems to be the only hook nearby, so I'm gonna run in for the Sabo, see if I can get it. Hmm, she saw me sabotaging it. Wait, she didn't see it, nice. Now she at least forced to drop him, which will be good for us. Later down the line, we can uh, get him up. She's already committed to that person, and meanwhile, Jen's been done. Did not even get the hit on the window there, so this is going really well. We get the double heal. I'm gonna run away prematurely, I'm sorry, but I'm on death hook. Cannot risk it. Very sleek 360 there. That was cool. I'll be able to get him. I'm gonna take the hit for him as well. And now I have to pray to God that she does not go for me, or that I get a dead off. Okay. That just bought us a little bit of time. Um, he is on death hook though, so unless he gets saved again, there's not much we can really do. He's just going to die. Yeah, we can get the sab on the hill. Maybe, maybe, maybe. She's not even going for the hill. We can't get the pallet stun either. Um, maybe he gets the body block on the hook here, and then we get a sabo after that. <sighs> that was really close, that was really close. Nice try, nice try. Okay, well, either way, I'm gonna just try and see if I can keep myself alive now. outside shack she's coming inside okay interesting well I have to remember I do not have any fillers here she either demanifested or teleported again I'm not sure all right, all right let's see if we can do oh shit she sees these people please don't drop that pallet please don't drop the pallet please don't drop the pallet don't do it don't do it don't do it <sighs> look look at the setup look at the setup and he dropped it. Oh, okay. I'm too busy looking at the setup. Okay. Okay. I need to stop looking at that. And look where the killer is instead. <laughs> she should commits to me. Seems like it. No, no, no. She's not. Okay. Oh, no. Paladin's already gone now. This is really bad. That was one of the few fillers we have on this side of the map. I really can't let this guy keep getting chased because he's just going to burn for all the resources in no time. Not cutting me off. That's good. Oh, please not easy to block the window. Wait, 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 wait. That somehow still hit me. That is a beautiful hit on her end, I guess. Not on my end, though. It's trying to trap me on this side of the loop. Okay. I mean, either way, I'll be fine. Okay, let's see if she doubles back. That's fine, that's fine. I'll be able to use this filter palette instead. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're more than good, actually. Doubling back, okay, that's fine. Swing through it. Or respect it, that's even better. <laughs> She's gonna demanifest, which is fine. She can't attack me now. I'm just gonna get the fast real quick while you are manifesting again. <laughs> okay, she broke that window though. Or wall, I guess. Probably the better turn to be using there. And that Yorichi's trying to take it from me. Thank you, Yorichi. Uh, take the window, take the window. You're fine. Let's see what she does. She's vaulting in. Okay, interesting. I am committing to it. Nice. And I'll just walk around this rock and- OH FUCK! Yeah, NO NO! You Yoichi! I was trying to that hard. You did not have to do that for me. If she picks me up, it's over. Okay, I might actually have a chance to still make it out now. Okay, I'm really lucky that she picked him up instead, because I can just be picked up by this other Yoichi. Or I could have unbreakable. Either way, that was really lucky. I was trying to get my dead off, but it just didn't work. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Alright, go ahead and vault that. No problem. She's vaulting it too. This is fine, this is fine. Make that again. Yeah, we're more than good here. We're more than good here. 
Wait, she's taking it the other way. Okay, okay, okay. No problem, no problem. They're probably gonna go for the Onik here. And this is one of the this is one of our last pallets in this pal gym. Okay, I'm gonna just cut her real quick, because she'll swing at it. Very nice. He can get the Onik. Didn't commit to it. Yeah, it's looking kinda bad, okay. Drop that. Faulted it. Yeah, she's on the side with us. Oh no, and is your to use this filler? She's not giving to me though. I mean, I can't really get the Anuk without being healed. He needs to go. He needs to go. I, I can't get the Anuk. I'm on Deathlock. I'm not injured without that. Alright, well, this is pretty bad. He's gonna go down too. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Alright, I'm just gonna walk for that in that case. Yeah, there's not much I can actually do here. Let's see, we should go in here. Unless you want. I can't sabotage that. There's no way. Yeah, this is just unlucky. All of it. Same. If she commits to the outside, I get this fast up for free, I think. Okay, she's going back in. She de-manifested, it seems. Wait, he Kobe'd! Wait, what the hell? I didn't even realize that! <laughs> That's amazing! Oh, hi. Um, please tell me I make that. Thank Christ. She was not manifested, so she cannot hit me. Alright, alright, alright. What's your stain? What's your stain? We're good, we're good. And next time I'm not gonna bolt it, I'm gonna walk to the filler pallet. She double backed it. Okay. Interesting decision. <laughs> oh, wow. We're finding ruin this late into the game. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna fake this drop. She respects it. Nice. Ah, uh, let's get her over the fast so she commits the same side, but she didn't. Oh! 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 That is a good red stain fake! I did not realize that she was pretending at all. Well, yeah, now nah, I'm just dead. That was a really good red stain fake! What the fuck? I thought she was just manifesting or going the other way, but no, she was right there all along. <laughs> I got fucking outplayed. I got outplayed entirely there. That was a really good fake. GG, man. GG. All right, I got Midwitch for a second time in a row now, so uh, I'm gonna having a lot of fun. Oh, hello! I did not know you were here. You completely lost track of me because of the Aaron Tech. Very nice. She did not see the Yui there. Respect the pallets, okay? Nice. Doubling back. Um, an ambitious swing to say the least. All right, we're mind gaming. Fake drop. She did not care. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. We'll keep running this because it's a uh, pretty okay palette to use. Unless you do that, what I just did. <laughs> I wasted my dead Unlucky. I don't know why I didn't just keep running. Let's just swing through it. Very nice. Or she walks into the palette. That works too. No problem. No problem. Let's get old W here because this is kind of like the corner of the map. And our teammate just went down. Let me see if I can make it there in time. I don't think so, but. Who knows? If Nia stalls a bit. <sighs> hmm, yeah, I'm lucky. Oh, okay, that's really unfortunate actually. I'm gonna see if I can walk around here. Hopefully the killer doesn't see me. I'm just gonna go ahead and vault this. And I'll stay behind this uh, locker over here. Please do not take the doorway. <sighs> not sure if she saw me. She probably hears me though. Oh, okay, well, that works. I... I kind of forgot that her timing is completely different because she has such a unique animation. Nice, that actually got her to swing. Do it again. She's gonna drop. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm not gonna on a do a bar time, but I just don't want to right now. I'm gonna vault this. She needs to actually break this so I can go pretty on Okay, nice level back. I'm gonna hold W here and go to the window. I'll be able to make this for sure. Very nice. She did not swing though. She just walks around this way. I kind of want to be here for the Nia. That person's probably going to hit second stage soon, though, but she's probably camping him. Yeah, I thought so. All right, but while Yui's distracting her, I'll see if I can get the Onik really quick. All right, all right, all right. I'm just going to dead her for distance so I can make it in time. Hopefully, I can make this Onik. Very nice. That's fine, that's fine. At least that person didn't hit second stage. Kind of in a bit of a predicament here because everyone's 
not really doing anything and we're all just taking hits. Just kind of feeding the killer. Yeah, the three of them running away, that's good. Um, while she chases one of them, the rest have to reset and then see if they can get me. And then we can just go back in gens. What the hell? Nice that hard. Unfortunately, she did not swing at it. She's checking for someone. I think she sees me. Yeah, she does. This spell's been used. Okay, it's unlucky. Yeah, can't do much here. Oh, please just go for me. I'm, I'm, I really hope she thinks I'm annoying and that she just doesn't tunnel the guy out. Very nice. Okay, I don't have a pal on this side, so I have to be really careful. I have this one. She swings. Nice. Nah, I can make another loop because she swung. Okay, I'm gonna immediately follow her. Hopefully she just fakes the pickup and then goes for me. Or he gets helped up. That's even better. Okay, um, I really don't want him to go down. Did she disappear? Hello? Why are we chilling all of a sudden? Did she just... Ah, she might have teleported. <laughs> okay, I was wondering why everyone was just trying to heal and relax, but she teleported away. I use me next. I'm gonna jump down right on top of the killer, apparently. That's definitely the best course of action. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I uh, thought she was further away. I was just seeing if I could hit the Anuk. Fake the drop. And she respected so hard that she left. Holy shit. She respects pallets harder than I respect women. I'm not sure if he was actually in the chase or not. There is a TV right there. Oh, hello. That's unfortunate. She just kind of appeared out of nowhere. That really caught me off guard. I wasn't sure if Yuri was in a chase or not, so I just kind of kept doing the gen, but I guess that was her invisibility uh, playing a role. Alright, thank you. I have bar time, so I'm gonna see if I can do something useful with it. Okay, let's see if I can get the self save. Come on. She knows everything. I'm gonna see if I bar time. Bar time, bar time, bar time. Very nice. And now Yuri's made it to the pallet. Don't really want to use the pallet because um, she probably won't fall for the CJ. Okay, I have to keep moving because I'm in the men's state. Alright, I can get that fast fastball without triggering a chase. Please do not go for the CJ, Nia. It's not worth it. Yeah, I figured she'd know. And right now, there's not much else I can do. I can get the Yui up by just healing her. I lose my DS because of it. That's unfortunate. It's alright though, it's alright though. Uh, because Nia, Nia doesn't really have any hooks, so it's fine if she gets sucked right now. <laughs> yeah, trying to go for the FL save. Yeah, it's not the worst usage of that pallet, but it, you know, could have been more efficient. Unless we get the save, there's kind of that's just kind of a waste. Do not get her up; she's gonna get redound. That's so bad. But at least, uh, at least she might be more inclined to pick up. Yeah, this other guy kind of screwed us over. He should have not have picked her up. That was the worst thing that could have happened in that scenario. Let's see if we can get a W going. Hmm. He is in a chase. Alright, alright, alright. I mean, both these people are not on death hook, and I am. So, I'm not sure why I'm trying to take this risk. Oh, man. That was so close. That was so unbelievably close. I had to try it, though. That was a really nice fake fault, actually. And that was a terrible dead hard. <laughs> of course she has to check. She has to check everything in the world, obviously. I have this pal still up. And of course it's not up. I do have Unbreakable, so... Her slugging me is not the worst case scenario. But, um... I think she might change her mind and pick me up instead. Which would be really unfortunate. At least she's going for the last uh, person right now, which is going to buy me some time to get Unbreakable up. Please see the scratch marks. Do not pick me up, please. Okay, I'm gonna be really careful now. Can't use my breakable prematurely. Oh, wait, she's being worried. Okay, well, let me quickly get myself up so I can get Nia. Nia, 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 hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna get you up. I don't think I make this. There's no way I make it. Pick the vault. Very nice. I'm just gonna hold W here. Why did she go all the way over there? Okay, I can get Nia up, but I think she goes down immediately. Dead her? Dead her? That was too early. You know, wait until she gets close to you. Okay, um, she's kind of confused, I think. Kelly, Nia, it's time for us to go. 
Let's go this way. We should go. We should stay together, you know, so we can heal. Alright, she's on me now. And I'm on the wrong side. I did not want to use this pallet. I think this pallet's gone too. Yeah, it is. I need a window in this room. That pallet, there's no god pallet here. Alright, we have the we have this filler, actually. Pick that. No problem. She respected it. We have the chair room. Just get a dart. I don't think I make anything. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Believe. Nice. All you have to do is believe, boys. All you have to do is believe, ladies and gentlemen. That's today's life lesson. <laughs> oh my god, the kills are right over here. Holy shit. Oh no. I think the uh, is kind of screwed. This might be the most epic flash save ever or the biggest fail. Unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> I should have started trying to get midair. Well, maybe. Maybe she's a moth. Is there a hook outside? There is. Okay. I'm gonna run back upstairs in that case. If I can get him to break a pallet, I might be able to, um... Oh, that door's not open. This pallet should probably be gone. This one is, too. In the next room, there's gonna be a pallet, but that's the only one I have. Yeah, I'm gonna add that right now, just to be sure. Fig drop. She does, re she does respect. I'm gonna fig drop it again. Unlucky. She's scared of the uh, 360. Please, please swing. Do something. Why are you making the pallet alone? Are you okay? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna vault this in that case. And then see if we can make this other window vault. She is following me. Okay. The door is broken, so she can't walk through. Okay. She's tied up on her pretty TV. I just want to help Nia. Please go to the reception. Okay, she is going to the reception. I might be able to get me to Sonic. Uh, it's not looking good. Maybe fake it, and then keep running? Yeah, I was really hoping she would hit Neon Hook instead of me, but um... There's not much I can do, man. I feel like I could've, I feel like I could've got that, like, uh, aerial flash that save if I started shining at her when I was still- when I was falling. Because you can actually flashlight while you're mid-air. I think that would've got me the timing. Alright, well, let's see the more in that case. Ah! Oh, there go your limbs. <laughs> Well, that's the end of UHE. Alright, well, even though it was Midwitch, GG.